are such an asshole. Hello, lieutenants and economists. The old captain screwed this one up. I did, I don't know, was it 10, 12 videos? I recorded this one, but then I didn't upload it. And then I deleted it, so now I have to redo it. Please keep me anonymous. Hi, and I'm currently uh, pursuing an electrical engineering major in an anonymous ABT accredited university. I'm a freshman right now and want to get involved in an extracurricular activity, I, he means. So I can have a break from my studies and get to know other people. This, in turn, will provide me with a social life so that I may abdicate from the stereotypical antisocial STEM nerd label that is masquerading upon myself. I, <clears throat> I said in the original video, I don't think STEM or engineers, or, I'm sure there's a reputation you guys might be nerdy, but it was my experience that the most fun and interesting people were the nerds. Um, if, if you go hang out with business majors, it's just how many beers can you drink and crush on your head, uh, cans on your head, and uh, who has the best uh, backwards hat wearing technique. Uh, the, the fondest, funnest times I've had have been with nerds, so I don't think there's necessarily a stereo. Maybe there is a stereo. Okay, there probably is, but I think that's completely outdated by now. Um, you know, if now people want to be the geek, and it's like, dude, you. I went, I went to uh, a uh, evening event open to the public at the MIA Minneapolis Institute of the Arts. And it was called, uh, you know, the Geek. The theme was Geek. And I'm like, okay, cool. Okay, so there was like this dude, and he was into Doctor Who, and there was my other buddy who's uh, actually a car racer, auto mechanic, high level IT uh, cybersecurity expert. And there's me, um, CPA. And so we were actually nerds, you know, we were, we were geeks, and we go there. And uh, admittedly, we're all a little bit older, but, you know, the average age is, say, 27, 28. And these are just people wearing thick rimmed glasses who claim to be nerdy, and they're kind of like science projects in their science art that they were displaying. Really sucked. It wasn't intelligent. It was, it's like, stop posing, you're, you're not a geek. So now, the unpopular kids are the faux geeks, and the real geeks, which you would be one of them, majoring in electrical engineering, um, I think you and your peers, you, you'd find some very intelligent, interesting people there. They may not be partiers and booze hounds, uh, but that, that shit gets old real quick. Uh, anyway, so you want, I could see you want to unplug and try different worlds. Due to the accumulating academic difficulty that steadily progresses with my major, I feel like my mental capacity and finite time can only contend with one extracurricular. Thus, I have decided to elect one of the following programs, the Mars Rover Project for Robotics and the Taekwondo Club. In order for you to make an accurate assumption as for which option is preeminent, here's a picture of where I want to be in the future after graduating. I want to serve time as an enlisted special, a special operator, then later in the enlisted career, put in a packet for officer candidate school, hence the benefit of the Taekwondo Club. And I would like to be a potential candidate for NASA, unlikely I know. Well. Are you white? Are you straight? Too bad, you can't do it. There's a chance, electrical engineering you could, I guess if you join the Air Force, but if you want to do, see, because here you want to, I may want to, you may jump to the conclusion that participating in the ROTC program might be the better option, but I object when commissioning through ROTC, you can sign your contract before you know what job you're going to get, but when you enlist, and you'd have special forces in your contract prior to enlisting. So that kind of, your Navy or Army um, or Marines, I'm sure the Air Force has their own special forces operator, but traditionally that's been, you know, Delta Force, Rangers, SEALs, uh, Super Seeker Kick-Ass Club. You guys don't know about that. Those bad moments. Don't get, don't piss off the Super Seeker Kick-Ass Club. That's what President Cappy would start naming some really badass people. say, what is this, a joke? And they'd be the most badass trained motherfuckers ever. We'd, we'd call them the, the touchy-feely, huggy types. Or we'd just give them a social justice word, the Raising Awareness Brigade. And Putin laugh. That's <laughs> the Raising Awareness. Holy shit, they just took out Vladivostok. And there's two of them. Um... 
but, but, but when you enlist, you have special forces in your contract prior to enlisting. If I enlist, they repay student loans, and I can also become an officer through OCS later down the line, just as long as my request comes through. Name your price, I would like a video, thanks. All right, so I was trying to hem and haw between the pros and cons because I honestly don't think one's gonna have an advantage over the other. The Mars Rover project would have a pro for NASA. Taekwondo, I don't think would have any pro for you going into officer candidate school or becoming an officer. Special forces maybe, um, but if you wanna get into special forces, I hate to say it, you're, I don't know if you got an option to have um, extracurricular activities. Uh, certainly Taekwondo would help cross the crowd, but you gotta train. You gotta train your ass off. So depending, they list like, you know, the Rangers, you gotta run X miles and X time, carrying X amount of weight, you gotta do X pull-ups, you gotta do that. So I think lifting weights and some kind of physical activity would help. Plus, that would break the stereotype. And I'm, I'm not a big, huge fan, like, you need to be well-rounded. But yeah, maybe you could unplug from the geekery a little bit. Um, but that Mars rover landing thing, that would definitely be something to put in your cap for NASA. Now, here's the thing that it, it dawned on me. You're just a freshman. Why don't you do both? Um, if that Mar I, I'm a little bit afraid the Mars rover project won't be there. There's a chance. I'm not, I'm not saying it won't, but that's something that needs funding where there's a project, the project's done. Okay, then we, you send the rover off in outer space. Whereas Taekwondo will be forever. So I'm kind of leaning now, this year, you do the Mars rover project. Um, I think you'll find some really interesting people there. Uh, it won't be terribly social, but again, school's not meant to be social. Uh, and then down the road, you know, th there'll be plenty of dojos and taekwondo and, and uh, that, that, that opportunity will never go away. The Mars Rover Project, that might not get funded again, you know. So I'm going to lean towards the Mars Rover Project, but then next year do taekwondo, you know. Um, and are you, I know, dude, I understand electrical engineering is very hard. Can you, can you do more time efficient management and eke out, you know, say 15 minutes a day and all of a sudden that adds up to what? Almost two extra hours and you can go to a club that you actually enjoy. I don't mean nightclub, but uh, an extracurricular activity. Like something you could fit in, just to be a little bit more efficient with time management. Because even I managed to, what did I do? I'd make it to First Avenue a couple times. I made it to the very occasional party, but yeah, most of it was work for me. But that that's what I would do, is do the Mars Rover thing, because that seems to be a, not once in a lifetime, but it's different than Taekwondo. It'll stand out a little bit more. Taekwondo, okay, you know, my buddy's kid down the street did that. So. All right, anyway, I apologize for deleting that and not uploading it. Uh, if you guys have questions, Cappy's got answers over at AssholeConsulting.com. We'll see you all later. Toodles.